Hello my chess friends, welcome to Deep Chase Analysis. Today we will analyze a perfect game between Mihail Tal and Alexander Kobland. This game was played in 1961. Are you ready for analyzing this fantastic game with me? Let's start! e4, c5, Sicilian defense. Alexander Koblenz wants to fight. Knight to f3, d6, d4. With d4, we have open Sicilian on the board. c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6. Knight of variation. Now, in this position, there are different lines Mikhail Tal could play, and he decided to play bishop to g5. Bishop to g5 is main line. e6. With e6, Alexander Koblenz didn't want to play with doubled pawn on f file. f4. f4 is a very aggressive move, but did we surprise? Of course not. This is Mikhail Tal. Bishop to e7. After bishop to e7, Alexander Koblenz is ready for castle. At the same time, he prevents the pin after pushing e5. Queen to f3, queen to c7, queenside castle. This is a standard theory and many of us know very well. But don't forget that this, this game was played in 1961. Knight bd7. Knight d7 is a very flexible move. And now Alexander Koblenz has a lot of different moves with his knight. Bishop to e2. After bishop e2, white finished his development. h6. Alexander Koblenz say, Hey, Mihail Tal, what do you think about your bishop? Show me your plan. Bishop to h4. Of course, Mihail Tal didn't give up his dark square bishops easily. b5. If your opponent attacks on the king side, you should attack on the center or the queen side. In our game, Mihail Tal tried to attack on the king side. And Alexander Koblenz tried to attack on the queen side. He is sitting with simple chess principle. But after pushing b5, light squares on the queen side are quite weak now. e5. Mihail Tal immediately pushed e5 and wants to take the knight. Bishop to b7. You can stop the video here and just think about the Mihail Tal's move. While you are just thinking, I should drink water. If you think enough, we can go on. Mihail Tal escapes his queen. If you think like that, you are wrong. Because Mihail Tal played e takes f6 and sacrificed his queen. What an amazing sacrifice. This is amazing and incredible for us. But for Mihail Tal, this sacrifice is simple. Bishop takes f3. Bishop takes f3. After queen sacrifice, Mihail Tal gave up his queens. But now he has an extra bishops. An extra knight. At the same time, he has two trade bishop to e6 and bishop takes a8. d5. This is the perfect move because it is not just protect the rook. At the same time, there is a perfect trade with queen takes f4. Both of them are so strong. Normally, Alexander Koblenz is the teacher of Mihail Tal. Both of them are Lithuanian, and generally, that time, Lithuanian players play quite aggressively. Knight takes e6. After queen sacrifice, now Mihail Tal sacrifice a knight. What an amazing sacrifice. These are incredible. But now we have to ask ourselves that how Mihail Tal can sacrifice easily, especially for this position. Actually, the answer is so simple. His king is still in the e-file. We are in the 15th move and Alexander Koblenz didn't castle f takes e6, bishop to h5. This is why Mihail Tal sacrificed his knight. g6. g6 is a perfect move. Don't forget that. You can stop the video here and just think about g6. If you think enough, we can go on. g6 has a simple idea. Alexander Kogdan is aware of the danger for his king. At the same time, f6 pawn probably promote. Because of that, g7 square is safe for Alexander Koblenz kings and it prevents promotion. f takes g6, king to f8. Now Alexander Koblenz has an extra square after f takes e7. f takes e7, king to g7. In this position there are two trades for Mihail Tal. First trade is queen takes f4 check 
and wants to capture the bishop on h4. Second trade is king takes g6. Do you think winter is coming for Mihail Tal? Bishop to g3. If you think like that, you are wrong. After bishop to g3, Alexander Koblenz cannot take bishops. Because if king takes two bishops, king takes g6, f5 will be a deadfall for Alexander Koblenz. Because of that, Alexander Koblenz cannot take the bishop on g6. He played knight to f6, king h e1, b4. If your opponent attack in the king side, you should attack on the center or the queen side. But why Alexander Koblenz didn't take the e7 pawn? It looks like hanging. If Alexander Koblenz take the e7 pawn, there will be a perfect position for Mihail Tal. We can look that position. Queen takes e7, f5 is so strong. And then the game will be painful for Alexander Koblenz. Because of that, Alexander Koblenz decide to play b4. Rook takes e6. This is really incredible. There is a knight sacrifice in here. This man is perfect. Firstly, Mihail Tal sacrificed his queen. And then he sacrificed his knight. And now he gave up his last knight. This is incredible. There is nothing I can really say. B takes c3. F5. Mihail Tal says, Hey, Alexander Koblenz, I will checkmate you. There is nowhere else you can go. Because I am Mihail Tal. Queen to b7. B3. Alexander Koblenz tried to checkmate. But of course, Mihail Tal didn't blunder. Queen to d7. In this position, you can think like that. Why Alexander Koblenz didn't play queen to b4? We can look this position. Queen to b4. But Mihail Tal calculated all of them. Now he has a perfect move. Rook takes d5. This is incredible. I couldn't believe this game. Now, if Alexander Koblenz play queen to a3, there is a safe square for white kings. If he takes the rook with his knight, knight takes d5, bishop to e5, will be a deathful for Alexander Koblenz. King to g8, because of this line, Alexander Koblenz play queen to d7. Bishop to e5, queen takes e6, Alexander Koblenz gave up his queen. But now it is too late. I'm sorry for you, Alexander Koblenz. F takes e6, king takes g6, rook to f1, king to h8, I'm sorry, knight to h7, bishop takes h8, rook takes h8. After trading the pieces, we will see the power of the doubled e pawns. Rook f8, rook takes f8, e takes f8, queen, knight takes f8, e7. King f7, e takes f6, king takes f6, king d1. In this position, Alexander Koblenz resigned the game. Because Mihail Tal can easily pick up the pawns. What an amazing game. Thank you so much Mihail Tal. And thank you so much Alexander Koblenz for this perfect lesson for us. I really wonder which simple chess principle is your favorite for this game. Don't forget to write in the comments. I will quickly show the game beginning to the end. You can take the most important points if you want. C5, Sicilian defense. Alexander Koblenz wants to fight. With D4, we have open Sicilian on the board. Knight of variation. Now, in this position, there are different lines Mihail Tal could play. And he decided to play the bishop to G5, main line. With E6, Alexander Koblenz didn't want to play the doubled pawns on F file. Very aggressive move, don't forget that, very aggressive move. But did we surprise? Of course not, this is Mihail Tal. Queenside castle, this is standard theory and win many of us know very well. But don't forget that, this game was played in 1961, don't forget that. Mihail Tal immediately pushed e5 and wants to take the knight. Perfect. After queen sacrifice, Mihail Tal gave up his queen, but now he has an extra bishops and extra knight. At the same time, he has a two trades. F takes e6 and bishop takes a6. What an amazing sacrifice. Thank you so much, Mihail Tal. This is a perfect move. Don't forget that. This is perfect move. 
because not just protect the rook at the same time there's a perfect trade with queen takes f4 after queen sacrifice now Mihail Tal sacrifice a knight what an amazing sacrifice this man is incredible I can't believe it this is why Mihail Tal sacrifices his knights g6 is a perfect move it is really perfect move because g7 square is safe for Alexander Koblenz kings don't forget that in this position, there are two trades for Mihail Tal. First trade is Queen takes f4 check and wants to capture the bishop on h4. Second trade is King takes g6. There is nothing else. There is nothing else. Mihail Tal says, Hey Alexander Koblen, I will checkmate you. There is nowhere else you can go because I am Mihail Tal. This is perfect. Thank you so much Mihail Tal and Alexander Koblen for this perfect lesson. There is nothing I can really say. After trading the pieces, we will see the power of the doublet e pounds. This is perfect. In this position, Alexander Koblen resigned the game. What an amazing sacrifice. What an amazing game. Thank you so much Mihail Tal and Alexander Koblen for this lesson for us. Before finishing my analysis, like I always say that, chess principle is simple. Simple move is the best move, but always finding the best move is the hardest move. If you always find the best move, come with me.